Yo, welcome everyone. This is Tim from Test Demi, live and direct out of here from what? Houston, Texas, H-Town. What's up? Yo, today we're live and direct and we mean serious business today. What we're doing today is we want to focus on test automation for beginners, but we're going to take it slowly like we've always been talking about as we continue our video series um, using Python in conjunction with Selenium WebDriver. So you've seen the past two previous videos, video one or tutorial one is focused on Python, how to install it. In tutorial two, we looked at how to install PyCharm, which is an integrated development environment for you to actually write your Selenium code and Python code to automate web browsers. Uh, so for today, we want to begin to kind of dig deep, right? Actually kind of, you know, I don't know if you guys, um, if you ever, uh, every time people go to the swimming pool, you know, sometimes if the pool is cold, a lot of times you just don't jump right into it. You might just kind of dip your toe into it, uh, dip your feet into it, and jump back up like, oh, that water is cold. And you kind of gradually go dip one foot at a time. Your second foot, you might sit on the edge of the pool. You know, you might stand, you know, half height in. Eventually, you might get your whole body in. So that's what we want to do. Today, we're actually going to get in one step at a time into the pool of Selenium WebDriver and Python. So you're in the right place. Right. But before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, a few housekeeping notes. Like we mentioned, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe right now. Click the subscribe button so you can get these videos live and direct right into your inbox and you'll be on top to date. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is, like we mentioned, our goal is here at Test Demi, I want to get like about 10,000 manual testers or developers who are looking to get into automation engineering or automation test automation uh to be part of this movement so if you know any test automation engineer tag them let them know about this channel and let's get this movement going all right so for today what we want to focus on is uh we want to like i mentioned dig a little deeper into python we're going to look at what's called the idle the i-d-l-e right it comes uh it comes with python when you install it so if you guys install python like we mentioned in tutorial one uh you're going to uh, just kind of walk through the steps but if you haven't uh, watched those two videos, tutorial one and two, you know, I really definitely want to encourage you to go check it out. All right. So let's kind of jump right into it, right? Uh, let me just jump out of the screen. And what we're going to do is I want you to do this. Do one of two things, right? Um, first thing I want you to do is if, you, if you're in Windows, right, or perhaps in Linux, uh, Unix, or uh, if you're in Linux, bring up the terminal. Mac, also bring up your terminal. In Windows, you're just going to bring up the old uh, uh, DOS command prompt. Uh, I'm going to minimize to bring it up here. And if you did what we did in tutorial one, all you have to do is uh, if we, uh, type in Python. And if you type in Python here, you should be able to actually bring up the shell of Python, which is the actual IDLE, idle uh, environment, right? So if you type Python, it brings you right into the uh, Python shell here with this idle. So when you're here, um, in other words, this is what's called the interactive environment. So as you tell Python something, it's actually going to give you feedback. Like we mentioned before, it's kind of like having a conversation with a friend. So if I say one, it's going to say, you know, hit enter, it's going to say one back. If I say, uh, yo, Python, what's two plus two? It's going to say, hey, Tim, yo, it's four, all right? If I say Python, if I run this command, which is called the print command, and I say print, uh, hello, actually, let's do this, print, hello, world, and close parenthesis it enters gonna say yo print hello world so that's some of the basics when it comes to uh using python now what i want to show you guys uh also in conjunction with the idle um um uh s system here is also um the file editor which you can actually write more code because if you look at this uh uh idle uh, a shell here you can only write one line of code at a time right so for example uh, well you can like write, write multiple lines of code but for simplicity's sake a lot of people use it just for practice and to kind of get familiar with python as a whole for example uh, like i mentioned if we say um uh, what can we do here let's say uh, let's say print uh my name is tim i want let's do this i want to learn python all right Full stop, close parentheses, double quote, parentheses, and it's going to return it, right? So that's what it does. It's interactive. Uh, but what I want us to do is I want you to type this. And before you type this next command, pardon me, um, the secret to being a great automation engineer uh, or developer is um, don't just watch the video 
mindlessly. You want to be engaged, right? You want to be actively involved. So if you see me type, type what you see me type, and that's how you're going to get good. It's by practice. It's by repetition. It's by muscle memory, if you will, just kind of getting used to it and getting in a good group group. So don't think and sit there like saying, oh, yeah, I know it. No, you don't know it. You need to actually type it as you see. So follow along, be engaged, be in front of a computer, have all the software installed, the actual tools installed, and get engaged, okay? So type quit. All right, so we're going to actually quit out of the Python shell. It's going to bring me here. I'm going to type exit. Uh, gets me out of there. So what I want you to do here is if you come back to your search in Windows, you can either just type idle. So idle is the actual. This is, again, just a different variation of the shell script. Uh, this is outside of the Windows uh, um, uh, DOS command prompt here. So if you notice, it's the same thing. But what I want you to do here this time, for example, uh, if you do 2 plus 2, uh, actually 2 plus 3, uh, you see it says 5. What I want you to do here is in order to write more code as opposed to one line of code, you can do, you can come to file, uh, go to save as, uh, and actually don't go to save app, don't do that yet, just do this, go to file, go to open, uh, yep, go to open, uh, let's see, actually, I'm sorry, pardon me guys, um, I'm <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this, let's go to uh, new file, that's what I meant to do, pardon me. All right, so if you go to new file, um, let me do this. Let's minimize both of these windows so we can kind of have like dual screen uh, thing going here. So we have one screen here, right, which is our file editor. So basically the, um, the file editor you see on my right-hand side here is actually where you can ac actually write a lot of your Python code, and you can execute it here on the left in the ID, uh, idle uh idle shell of Python. So for example, if I did the same thing, if I say um, print, uh, we don't want caps, we want to do print, and print, the print command we're going to talk about later is just a function in Python. A function is just like a function, like function that says, if I tell you, if I say, hey, close the door, the function is you closing the door, right? So the function is closed. So in this case, it's print. So print just prints whatever's on the screen. So we say print, and we do um, uh, colon there. Uh, excuse me, we do the apostrophe there, we go um, open quotes, hello world, and quotes there, close quotes, and we do an apostrophe, exclamation mark, and you hit hello. So like for example, I hit enter, if you notice nothing is actually going to execute here. Now what you want to do is you want to actually save this file, uh, go to file, save as, and in our case, if we go to documents, I already have a file here, uh, let's see here. We go to, let's see, sorry, it's under Windows, and go to Test Automation. In my case, I already saved one. And we can just say, call this file hello underscore world, right? And it's going to save it if you notice the file extension dot py. Uh, so if you notice, it's called save hello world. So now, if you want to actually run this, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to run and go to run module. And if you notice, uh, oh, sorry, uh, invalid syntax. Let's see here, one moment. Uh, you see that? That's anyone can make a mistake. Actually, you want to have that exclamation um, mark inside of your close quotes, right? Then enter. So now I'll quote your own actually fine. And yeah, so it wants to save the updated version. If you notice here, it says hello world. It printed it, right? So I can do the same thing here on the idle by printing hello world. Uh, and you can do, you know, single quotes or double quotes. In this case, I'm doing double quotes. Uh, whatever you're more comfortable with, make sure you have that, um, you know, all your code within your quotations, close parentheses, and it's going to print it, right? So you can write more code here on the right, and it's going to print on the uh, left here when you actually go to run and run module, right? So that's another way if you want to write uh, more code. So for example, the way I look at this on the right, it's kind of like if you're if you're writing an essay, you want more instructions to, um, to send to Python, uh, the shell, to actually run it. Now, a few more things I want to show you guys before we wrap up this video is uh, there's something called the help command. Uh, so you can do help and uh, actually you want to do help and you want to actually do uh, open parentheses and close parentheses and actually going to bring you to the welcome to uh, this is Python's help utility. So basically what you want to do is if you want to find out more about Python, right, what a function does and some more um, instructions or modules about Python, what you want to do is you can use this help command. So here we can type in the print function and it actually brings up what uh, print does. As you can see, cells, it says that it helps on built-in function print and uh, module built-ins. It shows you how to run it, the proper syntax, 
how to properly run it. Uh, there's another command called the input command, which we might look at later. And if you click that, it shows you how to use uh, the input module, uh, the input function. So any function you have, then you're trying to learn about Python, uh, come in here and type it. And if you want to exit out of here, just type quit, uh, open uh, parentheses, left parentheses and right parentheses. Uh, and uh, actually, you should, uh, pardon me, quit. No, that's not it. One second. There you go. Quit. Sorry. All right. So, um, so there we go. So we're out of that. And I want to show you guys a few more things. For example, if you want to run another code here, um, which are probably going to run later, you can do for I in range. And again, just type this with me for now. I know it might not make any sense, but just kind of follow along. So what we're saying here is we're telling Python, um, I want you to print this command, uh, print, um, welcome to test demi automation course hundred times. Welcome to actually let's not do let's just do print hello world. Um, sorry, let's just do this. Uh, let's do print. Uh, we're gonna do hello world, okay? And summation there. What it's telling Python is just pretty much saying print this a hundred times, right? That's all this saying. So this is the power of automation because if you don't do this, what you would have to do is you have to print. Okay, you have to print excuse me, hello world, literally, you have to print it literally a hundred times. I don't, I don't know if you guys have the time, but the power behind programming is to kind of automate stuff, which we're going to be looking at eventually. You'd have to kind of print it. You have to do this kind of like a hundred times. So you can copy and paste this, but you know, this might take you all day, which you can, you can probably be doing other important things. You just have to keep copying and pasting, pasting this. This is if you want to do it a hundred times, right? You have to just keep doing this. You know, keep doing this, and I'll talk about this indentation later. Why it keeps indenting it, but we'll talk about that later. And you have to just keep doing this and doing this, and that's, you have to do it up to 100 times. But as opposed to doing that, a faster way to do that is just type in the command I have up there, and you do file, save, and what it's going to do is going to print "Hello World" 100 times, right? Uh, my syntax. Why do I keep doing the syntax? There you go, guys. You can, you know, everyone makes mistakes, but this is how you get better. Uh, okay, there you go, and. What am I doing? Ah, okay. Actually, I missed something. Oops, I'm, man. Pardon me for that. All right, let's go. There you go. That indent. So one thing about Python, whenever you have like a block of code, you actually have to indent that, which we're actually going to talk about later. Um, but bottom line is just follow along here and do it, and it should print 100 times. You see that? And it printed it 100 times. Hello, world. Okay? Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys um, this um, particular... Um, other feature that Python comes um, native with, which is the idle um, interactive shell, which you can use. It also has a file editor if you want to actually write more lines of code. So actually, um, I'll put it on your file uh, on, within the uh, Python uh, idle shell. So uh, what you guys want to do, what I want to encourage you to do is practice, practice, practice. Uh, go in there, do the run the print command. Uh, you can say hi. Uh, you know, run that. You can do math functions, uh, 5 minus 0 gives you 5. So you can do a lot of functions. I want you to practice and get used to it. The next video and sub subsequent videos, we're going to show you a lot more to really get you going. All right, till, till then, we'll see you guys in the next video, live and direct. Peace, testdemi.com. Check us out. Holla.